but we as Colorado Palestine Coalition support the students wholeheartedly in placing their encampment to pressure the university to fully divest from Israel. So what we're raising awareness for is to end the genocide ultimately, which would come through divestment through the students that is falling in line with students all over the United States. This is not just happening in Denver, it's happening at Columbia University in New York, it's happening all over in North Carolina, in California, and all other places. So we are supporting a nationwide movement that is also starting to happen globally. Um, there are students in Japan protesting, there are students in Australia protesting as well, and have also started encampments. So this is not just something happening here. We are asking students all over the world now. U.S. is the main funder of weapons and um, aid to Israel specifically. They send them billions of dollars every year. 80% of Israel's funds come from the United States. So if the United States stops sending this money to Israel specifically, then this genocide would end right now. Joe Biden and the United States government have the power to end this genocide immediately. I know specifically people in Latin America understand the impact of U.S. imperialism and the impact that U.S.'s domination of the world resources has had an impact on their communities specifically. And I encourage labor unions in Latin America and fighters for liberation in Latin America to continue fighting this great fight and to speak up for Palestinians because this is the moment that we're all waiting for until Palestine is free. Don't let them discourage you. Don't let them tell you to not speak up for it. And don't let them tell you that it's a lost cause because I know for a fact this is the strongest the movement has been. So let's keep fighting.